be interesting. Hmm. I won't be intimidated. Stock the barracks and double the patrols. If Paros is sending them, I want to know the moment they make landfall. Yes, Archon. But Archon, please, Zerces. the merchants have... I understand your concerns. But protecting the town and the quarries is what's most important. You may all go. Meeting is over. Cassandra. How? When I closed my eyes, I could still see you falling. I thought I had lost you. Alexius is alive. They have him, don't they? I rebuilt my life from ashes. Do you understand? And now you tell me you're alive. You're both alive. to get him back. He's too far gone. I gave up on you both once. Never again. What How have did you... you... I have a lot of questions. I think we both do. But ask. I'll answer what I can. I want to know about my real father. How did you know? I was told. Nikolaos, you saw him? In Megaris, yes. Nikolaos was your father. He was the man who raised you. Until he took his Spartan duty too far. He mentioned another. What can you tell me about him? I always hoped you would never need to discover the truth. But... There are things you need to know if we are to stop the cult. What do you mean? He sought me out before I knew your fa... Nikolaos. I've not heard from him in a long time. What's wrong? Soldiers from Paros just made landfall in the cove. A small force, maybe a dozen. Malaka. Timo, gather the troops. Questions will have to wait, Lam. I want to help. I assume you can use those weapons? Better than when you last saw me. Good. Come. Who is attacking? Paros, across the bay. It seems Silanos has finally grown tired of sharing the marble trade. Why now? We've always had problems with Paros. I expected an attack, just not so soon. I guess the time for talking is over. <laughs> Allies often forget their allegiances when opportunity beckons. Working with Sparta, given all that's happened. Paros made an alliance with the Athenians, so they left me little choice. You needed support. A rivalry with Paros is one thing, but they turned it into a war. Their partnership with Athens was too much to weather for Naxos alone. Right 
There's always been a rivalry between the islands. After all, Naxos used to control Paros and Andros. They're envious of our craftsmen, too. And now? They think they deserve expansion. Their oligarch demands their wings spread wide. But we'll clip their wings before that happens. They don't know who they're up against. You remind me of Nikolaos. You fight just like him. Ruthless and cunning. He would be proud. I've never forgotten what you both taught me. I had a good education. I wanted you to be unstoppable. And you are. Let's continue this discussion somewhere the smell of death doesn't linger. Ride with me. Move! Let's go. The island is beautiful. It is. Sparta has nothing on Naxian beaches. Sparta. All I remember is the bottom of Mount Taietos. When I brought you to the Pythia as a baby, she never said we would live a nightmare. She said you had such promise. The Pythia can't predict everything. The general acted quickly, raising the alarm. Timo knows Paris is a threat. They make their business clear. They can't be more clear than sending soldiers. There's no treaty? Maybe there was, but it's long over. Now there's no mistaking them for anything but the enemy. An enemy? I could help you defeat. We'll discuss that later. But I think you're right. The temple's coming along, Evandros. It will stay in ruins if we don't secure more donations. Soldiers can't get all the funds. They can if you don't want the temple destroyed by our enemy. But I'll see what I can do. It's a good deed restarting construction. Ligdamis was a great man who deserves reverence. His battles against corruption and oligarchy are lessons we all should remember. I do intend to finish the temple. Thank you, Phoenix. What a strange day it has been. But a good one. I've certainly had worse. <laughs> Me too. You have grown into a remarkable woman. But I see the burden you carry on your shoulders. Finding you has lessened it, I think. I'm glad. But I have wondered why the gods chose to reunite us now. I think they felt it was about time our family found each other again. If we want to be truly united, we have to find Alexios and rescue him from the cult's grasp. They are the source of all our pain. And they will cause more to many others unless we act. I put that life behind me the moment I left Sparta. I have Naxos to worry about now. Let me help you here. We can safeguard Naxos and then hunt down the cult together. Mirini, the symposium is about to start. By the gods. I'm sorry, my sweet. I forgot. Prepare the horses. I'll be out shortly. The symposium? I need to show the people their leader is strong and in control. Sometimes the face we show to the world needs to be one of strength, despite the chaos we harbor beneath. I will help you stop the cult. But before I can leave Naxos, I have to ensure it will survive without me. What do you need? Paros has to be dealt with. We need to weaken their position. Once they're vulnerable, they will make a reckless decision and we will strike. What did you have in mind? We must force the Paros fleet to engage us and destroy it. 
But my Admiral Aeneas is missing. His ship was sailing for Paros to engage in peace talks, and he never returned. Don't worry. I'll find him. If you need me, I'll be at the symposium. Although, try to look less intimidating should you choose to pay me a visit. Did you not hear what I said? These are their most skilled killers. You cannot stay in the public eye. They'll find you. I understand you perfectly. But I also need to be seen. The propagandist did his job well. I need more support to attack Paros. I've seen too many people die already. Please, come away from here. Aspasia? What brings you here? Cassandra! Read the room, my dear. I'm interrupting. Please, continue your discussion. It sounds fascinating. I've just come to tell your mother that the cult's elite forces are after her, and that this place is too open. And I've been telling Aspasia I need to appear in public to maintain the support of the citizens. You want me to handle the cult soldiers? Not only that. My people won't believe Paros is behind this without proof. I need you to find it. Of course. Good. And I'll make the rounds here. Shore up my support. Be careful. They're dangerous. I know. I'll get her out of here safely. Of course. I'd be happy to help you both. I'll see you again later. It doesn't matter where I got the information. You should know by now that I'm not one to follow orders blindly. Watch will be vigilant here. with a seal of Paros. And a letter? Some kind of code. The cult soldiers were paid with Rachmi from Paros. Well, I could hardly ask for a clearer proof. This will settle some scores. Take this to the Merchants Guild. Tell them it's the proof I promised. And tell them... They can keep the coins. Of course. There was also this. I assume it's their orders. I recognize this. It's an old dialect. The cult must use it to communicate with one another. You can read it? This money isn't from Silanos. It's from someone in Sparta. That's not possible. I can translate it for you, but these orders come from a Spartan king. The Spartan nobility has always resisted the cult. 
The cult is like water. Any crack in the stone and they'll get in. Sparta stands against corruption. Sparta has changed since we were there. Corruption spreads everywhere, as Aspasia says, even to Sparta. They want to instill discipline across the Greek world why they rot from within. They're focused on the wrong enemy. I am still Spartan. And so are you. Are you really? I have responsibilities here. Paros needs to be stopped. But then, yes, I will go back. You're the only survivor? They took prisoners. I was too far gone to carry back to Paros. What happened? We came to talk peace with Paros. They ambushed us. What of your captain, Aeneas? Took him. I'll get him. Make them pay. Hard man to kill. I know she wouldn't have had me. Quick, let's get out of here. Yaka. Irini won't be happy about this. speak. Ships from Paros have blocaded the harbor. God curse Silanos and his damned cult! Do they never tire of meddling? Oh. Tell them I'm on my way. A blockade? I've refused to pay tribute to Athens, and Paros is taking advantage of the situation. There goes our hope of striking first. I can bring my ship around and clear the harbor. Just you against an entire blockade? You're right. It's terrible odds for Paros. Be safe and come back to me, lamb.
harbor is clear. We need to move out before they send reinforcements. We're almost ready. Timo? The ships are loading now. They'll be ready on your command. Cassandra? A word. Whatever you need. The cult must be stopped. When we return to Laconia, it will be dangerous. I'm used to it. We both are. Here, I know who I can and cannot trust. I would have said that about Sparta too, but this news about the king. Did Aspasia find out which of the kings is working with the cult? For all we know, it's both. We must cleanse Sparta of its corruption, no matter the cost. At least now, we can face them together. Yes. For all that those bastards try to take from us. And your brother. We will find him. Come see me when you're ready. Are you ready to sail? I'm ready. <sighs> then I leave this to you. With your shield. Or on it. And now we strike a blow to the cult. Naxos seems secure. We have done great things together for its people. But now, we must look beyond these shores and destroy the cult. They are everywhere and nowhere. Their followers are without number. Where do we start? We cut the heads off the beast one at a time until they are blind and defenseless. Sparta. Sparta? I still have influence there, and allies. We can rally around our home and cleanse it of their influence as an example to the world. It will be dangerous. Their hold on Sparta is strong. Don't you think it's time we returned? Together. I have only a few more things to do here. As soon as you're ready, we'll set sail for Laconia. I think there's something you should do first. What? You need to find your father. Who is he? He's a difficult man to describe. He's many things. But the only way to truly know him is to meet him yourself. So you won't tell me now? There are details only he can provide. I hope when you meet him, you understand. You'll find what you need on the island of Thera. I've given your navigator the course. I'll see you in Laconia. I'll be there. May Poseidon keep you safe. Safe journeys. Thera. What's this? Lamb, you made it. I trust the seas were favorable? Poseidon might be the only one not trying to kill me. And did you go to Thera? Did you find him? I did. What did he tell you? He told me where I'm from. 
and where I must go. So now you know the truth. I'm not his daughter. I'm just a weapon. That is the furthest thing from the truth. You were brought into this world with love. I never imagined we'd stand on Spartan soil together again. I don't know how to feel. I spent some of the happiest days of my life here. And some of the worst, too. Sparta is our home. But we'll have to rid ourselves of the Puppet King if we are ever to find peace. Whatever happened to our old house? Nikolaos stayed after I left, but now that he's... gone... I don't know. Why don't we go find out? Of course. But first, there's something I want to show you. The closer we get to Sparta, the more memories keep flooding in. No matter how far I ran, I never could escape them. I know. On Naxos I could forget. It was as if I had locked Sparta in a box and tossed it to the bottom of the sea. Did you put your memories of us in that box? I wanted to. But it would have taken all the wood in the land to build one big enough. Let's go! <laughs> is where I first trained you to use your spear. Hesitation only hastens the grave. <laughs> you remembered. How do you think I got this far? We had to pry that spear from your hand while you slept. You said you needed it to fight the monsters in your dreams. I couldn't face Cerberus empty-handed. Those children will be ripped to shreds. We should help them. Cassandra, wait! You mustn't interfere. This is Spartan training territory. I can't stand here doing nothing. I'm going to help them. your mother but I'm sure she's proud of you tell her I'm sorry I yelled I was angry I didn't mean to he died with honor his death was unnecessary what are you doing here I was passing by when the wolves attacked these boys but they're Spartans in training, so I let them handle things on their own. She lies. She fought the wolves, clearly wanting glory for herself. You've interfered with Spartan law and lied about it. There's more honor in that dead boy's heart. You should return to where you came from. Are you all right? What happened? I couldn't just stand by and watch. The Ahogi is what turns boys into men and soldiers into Spartans. You have only made them weaker by interfering. What good are they to anyone if they're dead? Cassandra, please. This isn't Kefalonia, Naxos, or anywhere else. This is Sparta. And breaking Spartan law can get you killed. Believe me, Mater. I know exactly what breaking Spartan law gets you. Come. Let's go home. That training is ruthless. Not ruthless. Effective. The best of those boys will become Cryptia, keepers of the peace and stalkers in the night. Stalkers in the night? There's a reason Sparta never changes. It has rules and they are strict. 
Spartans rule Laconia, but most of its citizens are Ilotas, enslaved peasants made to work the fields and mines. Slaves? Why don't they revolt? Spartan fields keep them fed, and Spartan warriors keep them safe. First from the Persians, and now from the Athenians. When they forget their place, the Cryptia are ordered to keep the peace. I see. Most of us make great sacrifices for comfort. Most. Not all. I never thought I'd find myself back in Sparta. It looks so peaceful, despite the war raging elsewhere. Last place I ever felt safe. As soon as you were old enough to hold a spear, you trained in this yard from morning till night. Nikolaos was a tough teacher to please. He hid his pride from you. But every night he would tell me, she's going to bring glory to Sparta. As much as I hate him for what he did, I wouldn't be who I am today without his training. My heart broke that day. But, for the first time in ages, standing here with you, I truly believe it can mend again. Me too. Do you remember the first time you held your brother? I was scared I'd break him. I piled every blanket and pillow we had around me. Even then, you held him so tight, I thought you would squeeze the life out of him. He turned out stronger than we thought. The gods must be playing tricks on my eyes. Good to see you, Vrasidas. It's been a long time since I rescued you from the warehouse fire in Corinth. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. You look well, Vrasidas. The rumors were true. You're alive! Many we thought to be dead are still breathing. When I heard the two of you came home... We're in Sparta, but we're not home yet. We want our house back, Vrasidas. Sparta claimed your estate after Nikolaos' disappearance. They're waiting for his adopted son to claim it, but he hasn't returned from the war. Stentor? I knew I should have killed him on the beach. What do we have to do to get it back? You'll need to negotiate your Spartan citizenship with the kings. It won't be easy. Why not? As happy as I am to see you, the kings won't be. Especially Achidamos. Your exit from Sparta wasn't exactly... Graceful. He can't still be mad I broke his nose. You what? In any case, he hasn't forgotten. But I have an idea that might help him forgive. Tell us. Spartan soldiers have been giving weapons to the Ilotes. Whoever takes care of these traitors will earn his thanks. So, to get our house back, I must take out the Spartan commander responsible for inciting a useless rebellion. Sounds easy enough. Find me in the throne room when it's done. And where will you be? This is where I raised you. It's also where Leonidas raised me. I'm going to visit his tomb just beyond the estate. You should pay your respects too before you get started. I'll try. Leonidas. He was Sparta's last true hero. We'd all be under the yoke of the Persian Empire if it wasn't for his courage. The same blood courses through your veins. 
So, our blood is the blood of kings. You are so much more than a mercenary. You carry the blood of heroes, blood of power. Remember what I told you? That people would try to take that power for themselves. And then you promised. I wouldn't let them. Hold out your spear. All of this talk of the Pythia, the Pythia, I do not care what she says. Enough! We have grown tired of your insolent tongue. Sparta will not go to war. The Pythia has spoken. Pythia says what you tell her to say. She has been your puppet for far too long. The time has come to cut her strings. Oh, Leonidas, the days of heroes are over. You think your blood makes you special? If we opened your veins, it would spill to the ground and disappear through the cracks. You are no one. You are more than welcome to find out. Your fate is sealed, son of the lion. Xerxes will unite us. He will bring order to chaos. Defy the Pythia and everyone you love. Everything you stand for will perish. Gather the men. My king? Xerxes wants Sparta. He'll have to go through me. Incredible! Now do you understand? What must I do? It's time we embrace our destiny. Both of us. If we don't stop the cult before it's too late, then all Leonidas fought and died for was for nothing. Our bloodline has reason to those who would enslave us. It's time we rise again. Well, well, well. Mother and daughter united in Sparta at last. And look at you. Goddesses among mortals. King Pavsanias. We're honored. I was sorry to hear about your father. Yes. Our fathers would have been proud to see us here today. You remember Cassandra, my king? Who could forget? The girl who died to save her brother. Such a tragedy. An innocent child put to death because of an ancient, merciless law. Ancient and merciless? Most Spartans live and die by these laws. But you sound more... progressive. And you sound like you've been rubbing elbows with Athenians. I've been to a symposium or two. <sighs> In any case, Sparta was weakened by losing you. Losing you both. We're examples of why these laws must change. Oh, I agree. But King Archidamos, if he could carve Spartan law across the chest of every citizen, he would. I've spent my whole life looking over my shoulder. If Sparta is to be my home again, I'd rather it be a peaceful one. <laughs> Peace at what cost? When Spartans aren't killing, they're training to kill. And when they're not killing Athenians, they're declaring war on their own people. But we're not here to talk about the dead, are we? We know Sparta reclaimed our house after what happened to my father in Megaris. We want it back. Mind your tongue, child. You may not live in Sparta anymore, but I'm still your king. We graciously request an audience with you and King Archidamos to discuss reinstating our citizenship and reclaiming our home. Of course. There is nothing I'd want more. Archidamos, however, still hasn't forgiven you for the whole nose incident. What can we do to sway him? There's rumor of a Ilot rebellion, and the Kreptia are stalking the flames. Savagely killing Ilots, stealing livestock, and leaving corpses to rot in the streets. The Kreptia represents Sparta's ultimate achievement in military training. Their discipline and fearlessness make Sparta's army the most feared in the world. Once, 
but the Kryptia have become corrupt and bloodthirsty. And training boys to kill unarmed peasants is nothing to be proud of. Do you want your home back or not? Good. So the Illots will no longer support the senseless slaughtering of their people. If killing Kryptia will get our home back, I'll do it. If Archidamos believes in the old ways, won't killing his Kryptia create conflict between him and Pafsanias? I miss Kefalonia sometimes. Life was simple, even if Marcos was a bumbling idiot. Extra careful in this area. Die! I could use some help over here. Listen up! I'm only going to say this once. They take everything from us. Everyone, shut up, or you'll eat steel. I'd be more than happy to. Found him. This is the marble quarry Brasidas mentioned. The weapons have to be here somewhere. There's only one spot in here that I need to kill. It'll be easier if I don't alert the others. I need to take down their commander. you are. I can take you in to see the kings when you're ready. Waiting won't make this easier. Then let's go. Your mother's already inside. Kings. There. What do you say now? <laughs> You've made your point, Archidamus. I yield. Another two squadrons to Vietir, then. As I said. Is that how they solve arguments? Sometimes. Archidamos's guard has improved. He should thank me. Prasidas, you've come with news. Let's hear it. My kings, may I present Merini, descendant of Leonidas, and her daughter Cassandra. How dare you show your face in Sparta? Cassandra helped me secure Corinthia, my king. She helped with the Elotes rebellion. 
They want what's best for Sparta. I beg you to listen. Let's hear what they have to say before we bloody the palace floor. Speak, Marini. Why are you here? I have returned to reclaim my Spartan citizenship. To reclaim our home. You exiled yourself. Your daughter killed an elder and ran. Not to mention the crooked nose she gave you. My family was betrayed, my king. Sparta was betrayed. We've come to expose these traitors. <laughs> you haven't cared for Sparta for many years. What you say is true. But I swear by the two gods my intentions are pure. Marini has made her intentions known. What are yours? My intentions are to return home. Here, where I was born. What happened on Taikedos brought shame on Sparta. You and your family have no home here. First, prove yourself loyal. Bring glory to Sparta, and redeem yourself in the eyes of the gods. Until then, neither you nor your mother have a right to your lands. Tell me what I must do, and it will be done. The Spartan army fights the Athenians in Viotia. Join the commanders there. Come back victorious, or do not return. Consider the battle won. Spoken with the confidence of a child who hasn't seen real war. You will find my commander out of Mount Helicon. Give him this and tell him I sent you. Not so fast. Two kings, two tasks. Heracles completed twelve. Two shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> First Spartan thing you've said all day. The Olympics will be starting soon in Elise, and our fighting champion requires an escort. You want me to be an escort? I want you to make sure the Spartans return with a wreath. <coughs> That's how she'll bring glory to Sparta? By winning an event in the Olympics? Not an event, my king. ...by making sure Sparta wins the entire Olympics. Perfect. You have your orders. We'll see you when your tasks are completed. If they're completed. I'll get them done. And you'll give us back our home. There's some Spartan left in you after all. Prasidas. Show them out. Next! That went well. Considering you still have your head on your shoulders, yes, I'd say it went very well. The kings were generous to give us a second chance. And all I have to do is win the Olympics. And a war. Is there anything you need to know before setting off? I think I'm ready. And you? What will you do while I'm gone? I received a message just before we went in. What kind of message? A clue to the whereabouts of another cultist. I'm going to Arcadia. Alone? The fates are smiling on us. I was ordered there. We can travel together. That would be helpful. My thanks. I'll meet you both in Arcadia then. Safe journeys. Who are you? Me? I'm no one. But you? You're even godlier than Brasidas said you'd be. It should be your statue between these trees. Brasidas? What does he have to do with this? Warrior, he said. Look for the mighty warrior with the broken spear. I added the godly bit. I'm just a traveler. And there's more than one broken spear in this world. And the eagle he mentioned. What eagle? Where is Brasidas? I need to speak with him. Of course you do. And the woman. You'd like to speak with her too, yes? Wait. She looks like you. Tell me where they went. I should. It's what Brasidas paid me for, after all. Then why don't you? He didn't pay enough. Please, stop! 
just a traveler, she says. <coughs> Tell me where they are, or I'll cut that shit-eating grin off your shit-eating face. He said you had a nasty temper. He wasn't wrong. Tell me where my mother is, and you may walk out of here alive. You show mercy. Arcadia will give you none in return. Speak! You'll find them on a hill. A cliff overlooking Tegea. You said Brasidas didn't pay enough. Who did? The Archon. He's paying more for your head than Brasidas could afford in two lifetimes. Tell me who the Archon is. I want a name. <laughs> La Rose. His name is La Rose. And he's the most powerful man in Arcadia. He who controls the grain, controls the world. Consider yourself lucky. I've seen enough blood. Oh. But you'll be seeing a lot more. Welcome to Arcadia, Cassandra. <laughs>